Hello friends, um, I have a project today I want to work on and this is a puzzle from the dollar store, it was three bucks. It is 26 pieces and I thought I'd pick it up because I had a project in mind. Now I was looking for something a little bit more solid. Now I'm just going to have to cut this open here. Um, Take this right here. That's it. Okay, so I was just looking for something a little bit more solid to work on. And here I have these nice, very nice chipboard type of puzzle pieces. And I have 26 of them. So, I thought it would be really cool to work on these uh, on a project. Um, so, here they, here we go. I'm going to grab them and do be very random with them. And they just go together. They're really nice. Uh, let's see what they measure. Just grab my measuring. They are nine millimeters. Why do I have millimeters on here? So this is the inches in the bottom, I think. So it's like three and a half inches by four inches. They're about the same, I think. So they're all about the same. And, yeah, I thought we, if we decorate them all, different pieces, we would have a really cool art piece that was all kind of together. So... That is what I'm going for with this. So I was thinking that this would be a really cool piece um, to work on. So if you guys want to work on this with me, um, you can go to a dollar store or Dollarama or a um, pound shop or whatever and see if you can find some puzzles that are similar, um, chipboard heavy, and maybe we can work on this project together. My first one here, I'm just going to gesso it just to see. I don't know how I like that. And um, you might want to just put paper over it. I'm going to be careful on my edges just so then they match up. And I'm just going to try to keep everything just on the very top. And that's it. And so if you want to do layered papers and all that kind of stuff, just make sure we sand them so then they're just nicely over the edge. And you can just use nail file, those dollar store ones, and they're perfect to get the edges down. So I think I'll just do a couple coats of gesso and do something just kind of, I don't know, just to play with it, I think, just to see what I can do. I don't know if I'm going to paint or what. I'm just going to gesso it and start off with that. I'm going to dry that up. So, I decided I have kind of a technique that I want to use. And I don't have any more paper napkin. That's terrible. And, um, so this one's kind of, kind of, the, the kind okay, of I have this one here in with gesso on. I'm just going to throw some red very red on it. So I, I, my base coat's gesso. This my um very red is really watery right now because my brush is soaked and I don't have any paper towels. So I have this old cruddy one here. <laughs> and I ran out. So anyway, I should be grabbing a, a rag or something. Just gonna go over the red. Um, I did. Now I did put some red down, and I just kind of have an idea, and I don't know why. I'm just gonna try it. This is a glitter um, embossing powder. I'm just gonna throw it on there as I'm painting, just for something crazy to do. Just for something totally crazy to do. No reason. And I'm, I'm 
hoping that there is no reason for me to do this. It's just craziness. Really? We'll see. I bought this at, it's going to give me texture and some sparkle. Oh. I bought it probably or got it at with something from um, like a yard sale or something like that. So it, it's really old. I'm not sure how well it's working. I used it once and I'm just, I don't know, I didn't get the result I wanted out of it. So I'm not sure if it's working to its full potential. And I thought, well, let's try it with something different. So now I painted it into this top layer of red. Um, berry red. Giving me a nice sandy texture and it's giving me a neat look throughout the... I don't know if I add more, if I want to add more. I'm going to add just a tad more. Giving me a neat look anyway, so... I'm kind of liking it. And as I'm heating it up, we'll see what it looks like. So I'm going to rinse my brush out here. It's really like what's stuff on now. I'm gonna heat it up and I'm going to do it right in front of you and see what it does. Probably just gonna look really cool. Really hot. a different way to use your embossing powders kind of mix it in with your paint well I just kind of put it on top of my layer and my hands are really a mess now so don't mind them I've been working here now let's see I kind of want to use a doily spin art doily that I made And I really like the ones I did on the um, doilies, so. I really like them. So I think I'm just going to add that. Mod project. On. You can see the texture through the Mod Podge. Great. I'm just winging it, guys. I'm not even having a plan for this. I'm just winging it and adding some things that I've made here on the videos for you guys. So I got my spin art here on this puzzle piece. So it's just going to be an assortment of different pieces with my puzzles put them together and it's going to be like spectacular together. I think. So I'm just going to get Mod Podge all over here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna what else I'm gonna add. I'm just going step by step, really not planning anything and just playing with it. It's kind of like a puzzle in itself of what it's gonna turn out to be like. I'm not planning anything. So I just knew like well, the last piece I was telling you about that didn't quite work out. It just the crackle really didn't work out on it. So I'm gonna dry this up and cut it this off the looks. thing. It's kind of neat. The glue's not quite dry all the way, but that's kind of neat. I like that. And I was thinking of adding a border to it. Why not? 
Oh, uh, you could just paint on them too. Uh, oops, did I put my mod? Did I put my? Oh, I did. You can add paint to them too. I put my um, glue brush in my painting water. That's not good. Yeah, you could just paint a picture on them too, or you know, watercolor, whatever. If you put whatever you want on it. Let's see here. Of course, my piece is not quite. There we go. It's bowed a bit because of my drawing them. It weren't quite straight, adding so much glue. But that's okay. I'm just kind of collaging some stuff that pieces I've made on it. I'm gonna dry that up, and I'm going to throw another scrap piece on there that I have made. Um. Right here. Like this. So I'm keeping all my scraps from my borders and it's kind of looking cool. I might even put a sentiment on there. I don't know. But for now, this is making me really happy the way it's going. So I've got a lot of glue on there. But layers is good and it looks really cool and it's the first piece to my puzzle. This is now, I don't know, a bunch of pieces together. I'm going over with this Recollections water or water paintbrush thing. Ah, uh, just on the edges. Kind of fun. Treating it okay. I have no uh, ideas for what I want to do with this piece. But I threw some of my, like I said, some of my stuff on there, which made it look pretty unique. So, I like it. And the edges make it look stand out too a bit more, so I like that. So just do whatever you want. Like I said before, you can paint on it. I might just do other things on the other ones too. And uh, don't let your imagination just like a while. Don't let it, you know, don't think about too much. Just play. Now, this one was just a play and throwing some things on there. I could throw a, uh, excuse me, a statement or a thing on there. And that could be the end of that. I'm not sure. I could do some watercolor on there. The edges, or I'm just going to play with this here since this is kind of working good for me. So, seems to be. So that's it. Each piece is going to be unique. It's going to be a really cool looking puzzle at the end. I'm really trying to get it darker up here. Grabbing my arc eyeball ink and just doing that with it, kind of playing with it. Throwing it out there. So it's really actually coming along pretty cool. So, art within art kind of a thing. I'm actually going to grab another stencil here. This stencil right here, I'm just grabbing what's all around me really. This stencil here I was playing with earlier or another day and I left it out. And so I'm just going to throw it on here and ink it up a bit here like that. My table's shaking. There you go. That's pretty cool. I like that. 
I could throw, I'm going to put my Mod Podge back on, I'm going to throw some gold on there just for the heck of it. Gold brush. So if you have like rub and buff or something like that, I'm going to use my uh, metallic lusters and just throw some gold here and there. See how that looks. Just very lightly all over all the texture kind of go. I got a lot of texture on here, so. I really like it on the red mostly anyways. I got quite a bit of gold on my doily, so. I like that look. I do have radiant red. I might just go over a little bit here. See how what it picks up and it's all mixed media. It looks so good. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna dry it up and then I am probably going to see how much I can buff that up. I got tissue somewhere. I'm still digging around in here. I found this heart. It's really cute. I might just go with this because I really like that, but this is my inking up uh, piece of, whatchamacallit, Punchinella, but it's getting really old and it used to be green and it's black now. I wonder if I can add that as part of the decor. I think I can. Isn't that weird? Okay, I'm going with this. This is crazy. Call me crazy. I'm going to go with this on here as well. I want to add a dark... Uh, see, I have all these ones pulled up. I was like, oh, what can I do? What can I do? I want to add some darkness oh to this bump. Sorry, guys. I do have black shimmer metallic. Let's see how that's going to work. I'm using it kind of as a buff, and like a rub and buff kind of a thing. Looks nice. I like it as well as a tad of champagne I think or no this is gold rush I like it a lot I think I'm going with this way this is really going to be a mixed media piece don't know if this thing's going to stick, but the whole flower is going to stick down anyway, so. And I like that. That's going to be my first crazy piece, but I'm really liking it. See, it doesn't have to be anything. Um, no, I'm going to save that for another time. It doesn't have to be anything too normal or anything. It can be just crazy. Imagine now this is like I said, this is my use. I've been using this forever. It's gone really black um, Punchinella and now it's been almost really overused so Look at it now now it's a piece of my art so It's really you know getting to the point where it's just like You want to use another piece cut another piece off the roll so there we go. I'm putting some gold on there. You can use like rub and buff or whatever. You can use a bit of paint. Just really 
slightly dry it up. And we put it on there. There you go. That is my first puzzle piece, guys. I hope you like it. Oops. I'm getting so much gold on my finger. So I'm going to sign it. You guys should sign your art. I'm going to sign it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little project and worked on some puzzle pieces. And the next one is just going to be totally different. So it's going to be, you know, I could ink it up. I could put a stamped image and a saying or whatever. So it can be totally different and it doesn't matter. So there's no theme. I'm just going to sign it here. If I can. I might have to let it dry a bit more. And then I, I hope you guys like it. And don't forget to craft like a duck. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. I just guys. want to point out that any sides that have any paint on them or any extra edge, you can grab one of these from the dollar store or, you know, any kind of, um, well, dollar store anyways. And you can get a file and just fix it up and get your pieces to fit together. So, um, this is, oops, this is my next piece. So, yeah, I just got to work on it a little bit. Got a little bit of glue and paint in there. So, that's the only thing. And it's not really that hard because you're being careful anyway. So that's if you're having issues, that's all you have to do really is just go the direction like this um, towards your art because you don't want to pull whatever you glued on off of your puzzle piece and just carefully kind of fix it up. Anything glue and paper that went over the edge just like that. And if you get a nice chipboard type, it will really, it's very strong. So you have to play with it and you can work with it pretty well. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And share that with you guys. So you have a better fitting piece. And boom. Then it can fit together really nice. And there you go. So it will work and it's going to look really unique when you have them all together, I think. So, okay. There you go. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.